We're back for another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you an easy way to incorporate a logo onto an aluminum can. I have this picture I found on pixabay.com. It was free, so you may want to check that out. And the first thing that I'm going to do is just because this is an aluminum color, I want the color of my logo or of my design for this, I should say, to be white. So I'm going to create a new layer here, but then with the aluminum can layer selected, I can use my any of my selection tools here, this magic wand, and go select subject. It's not going to get it perfectly, probably because this shade of gray is very, very close to the um, background color. So to go with that, is just the quick selection tool and if I kind of click along these lines here to get it as close as I can it's not always going to be just an easy grab you know and then if you get too much selected then you can use the minus selection tool just to kind of clean that up a little bit. And then down here, I think actually I am going to deselect some of this. And clean that up a little bit too. So, so many of these tutorials, there will be an example where these selection tools work flawlessly and so I think it's good sometimes to show that it's not always going to be a clean easy select and I'm rushing through this here to try to get through this quickly for you uh, but you get the idea so um, get that selected around there as close as I can All right, I think that looks pretty good. So with that selected and this new layer I created, I can use my shift backspace to fill and I'm going to select white for this. And then if we deselect and go to our blending styles here, I like this multiply. Let's see what else there is. Depending on what you're trying to do, you know, sometimes certain ones work better than others. Um, I think that multiply looks good, but I also like this soft light. I think that even makes it a little bit lighter. So we have kind of a white colored can there now uh, with it separate from the aluminum color there and lines it up, but we can still see, you know, those reflections in the side of the can. For the logo here, this is just something I was playing around. I am a fan of Diet Pepsi. This isn't a sponsored thing or anything, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to try to make a, my own take on a retro style example. And then I'm going to select Smart Object. I want to bring it in as a Smart Object. Actually, it doesn't really matter because when I have this in here, for example, I'll I'll resize it first just to make it a little smaller but you can use whatever you know really you would like to use for the for the logo if you have something created anything that you want to do just kind of for a mock-up of some branding uh, but if I go control T it's not gonna let me do this uh, warp tool up here because I brought it in as a smart object from Illustrator so it's kind of weird if you do bring in art from Illustrator you'll have to right click in your layers panel and then go convert to smart object even though it's already a smart object kind of weird and then when I go control T then I'll have all my options up here just kind of an unusual thing with that so with control T now I can resize this around I can change the angle a little bit and I'm just gonna try to make it 
centered on that can there as best as I can as best as I'm able to and that looks pretty good in terms of what the angle is and then once I have that I'm gonna select up here to this uh, warp mode and if I click on that I have some options in here and one of them is arch so if I click on arch that's just to kind of get me in the correct ballpark area. All right, so I'm going to give it a little bit of an arch at the top here, just a little bit, to try to match it as close as I can uh, to, this, to this area here. And then I'll go back up here and select Custom. And when I get Custom, then I can kind of manipulate this a little bit more and fix these these angles a little bit more so that this can looks looks correct to kind of have that arch match up there and then down here obviously I need to bring these down just ever so slightly so that I can match them up with the angle of this line down here kind of try to make them as parallel as can be once you get it where you like it then you press enter to place and if I zoom out I have my logo there and I go back here to these blending styles and find out which ones work the best so in this case the linear burn with these colors looks good I'm gonna go through and just see if there's anything else that I like nothing that I really love more than this and uh, another thing I can do is drop down the opacity just a little bit if needed I wouldn't do it too much but if I want even more of those details to shine through underneath I can and there we have it a easy little way to put some branding or a logo on a little mock-up uh, of some packaging in this case an aluminum can I appreciate you watching.